at some but point but I'm ready to face them at some point there yeah. was a lot of whispers that you are going to be among the people who are going to cross over to Kenya Kwanzaa that just disappeared did you cross I, over I, the night I, and I, come I, back during the day no 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 I, I have never thought of that so I don't know where the talk was coming from mm -hmm. I've never thought of crossing and you've never been approached to go to Kenya oh, of, ca of course, approaches will be there, mm -hmm. but I've never thought of that. Okay. Yes. So these two cases that <coughs> are in court, because I know, I think sometimes in September of 2023 and also in Feb, there are two cases. I'll not talk about the cases. I mean, these are cases that logically, before you are even looked for by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, they may have investigated. No merit on these things. Yeah. I mean, I know it's in court. Yeah. Yeah. You but, don't see the reason why they should be coming. Yeah, in. because they have even not written a statement from me, so I don't know. So what happened when you went to the ESCC? You spent hours there. No, I never went to be interrogated. Okay. I went there just to collect uh, my phones. They had taken my phones and my wife's phones. So okay. I went to collect. I was never inter interrogated. No And you can asked. confirm with them. They have never interrogated me. They watch this show religiously. Really before I the end of the I show, they shall have sent me a message. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you. Yes, yeah. let them send you a message. Yeah, I, 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 I just hear the way you hear it. And I hope they are hearing. <laughs> they are hearing. Yeah, yeah, they, they are hearing. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. You have never. Uh -huh. Yes. I am going to Kakamega on Friday. Yes. We have a big event in Kakamega yeah, for the, climate action. Yes. Yes, at yeah. Masile Muliro. Yeah. But I was in Kakamega. I've been to Kakamega a few times. I had yes. a brother at Kakamega High School. So yes. The kind of development that I, I saw in Kakamega. Yeah. One of the things that was said about you is that you were pro-development. What would you say in 10 years I left this for the people of Kakamega? Uh, one, uh, uh, First of all, uh, you know, we were the pioneer governors. So being a pioneer governors, we had to come up with the structures. Structures that will enable you to govern and deliver on development. So I made sure those structures were there. And unless you work through structures, then accountability becomes an issue. So I made sure structures are there, mm -hmm. and anybody who will go to, uh, to, go to the, the governor's position mm -hmm. will establish that. Okay. Secondly, I, 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 I took time to plan. It took me the first two years planning what I wanted to do. I consulted widely with the people of Kakamega, mm -hmm. and then they gave me their priorities. I had also my priorities, which I had promised the people, and I made sure I go for uh, projects that would add value to the people. I, I started a big hospital. It was going to be one of the biggest hospitals in this country. Uh, it is there. I spent about uh, two billion that time. Okay. It needs just another half a billion, and it will be operational. Um, that, uh, yeah, that is the first phase. Mm -hmm. I, I, I built uh, Bukongo Stadium because I wanted to attract international matches or international conferences in Kakamega, it is there. And we saw what happened during the school yeah, games. Yeah, you yeah. saw what happened. You there. saw, you saw yes. that. Mm -hmm. that. That improves on the economy of, of, of Kakamega. Yeah. I started uh, programs in agriculture that actually uh, for, uh, for, uh, deficit of food which was there uh, was now a thing of the past. Because most of the time, uh, 